Oh, and we are recording. My little red button's on. Now let me start my timer, although I do go over usually a minute or so. I'm sorry, but it just it's so wrapped up into it we go. And the sun is shining, that is awesome. All right, so let's get started. Um, this week, I feel that it was a lot of upper body. Tuesday night, if you guys have done the workout, let me switch my view so I can see everybody, I'm sorry. Tuesday night, I focused more on upper body because um, we did a lot of shoulders. Um, we did a lot of upper body, a lot of weights. Um, we're starting to incorporate or cans or balls, whatever we we have at our at our leisure, at our, um, our hands, what we can do. Um, so today I'm, I'm actually feeling the same thing after this morning's workout. So I'm gonna work the upper body. Um, I know I was speaking to one of the members and they had a shoulder injury. Um, so we're gonna kind of focus on that and kind of I'll modify it on the upper so that it, it, it won't pose any injury or, or further injury to the shoulder. So what we're gonna do first, let's start. We're gonna do taking our right hand. We're gonna go up and over on the head. This is such a good stretch to get the top of the shoulders, which we never get. I want you to use your right hand as a guide on the left side of your head, and then I want you to push your palm down. Taking that shoulder and pushing it down all the way, giving it force to the ground, Stretching your earlobe, the top of your shoulder, your traps. This whole area here is a really good stretch. It's a nice way to start. Um, after we stretch the sides, we're going to do the full neck. And then I will slowly move ourselves through the entire full body today. Focus on your breathing. That's very important. I'm gonna take nice deep breaths in. And when I say breathing, they should be about four seconds on the inhale and four seconds on the exhale. We'll hold this for another few seconds and then we're gonna switch sides. Just really trying to stretch out these muscles. Body weight is tough because we're using our own weight versus, you know, a 20, 30, 40 pound dumbbell. Three, two, one. We'll just slowly bring ourselves back up. I apologize for my dog. The wind must be blowing. I'm gonna take our left hand, we're gonna bring it up and over. We're gonna put it on the right side of our head. Again, we're not gonna use this as a weight just a mere guide to help with the stretch. Then you're gonna push your shoulder down and push your palm to the ground. So you really feel the stretch, your traps, which are these muscles right here next to your neck, all the way to the top of your shoulder, to the deltoids, which is this muscle here. Focus on some deep breaths. really stretching it out. I can really feel it in the corner. When my neck starts to go to the top of my shoulders, that's, that's really, I can tell that's right where I have a knot. Good job, everybody. Hold this for another 10 seconds. Okay, slowly bring yourself back up. Let's shake up the hands for a little bit. Now what I want you to do is I want you to take both your hands. We're going to put them on the back of our head. Ladies, you can put it um, right where your ponytail would be. Men, you want to go a little, a little bit further, right where the skull meets. Um, your neck, your spine, that area there. That's where we want to keep our hands. We want our elbows together and we want to bring our chin to our chest. So you feel that stretch in the top of your neck, the bottom of your skull, top of your neck, your spine. That's the area we're really trying to stretch right now. Keep your hands together. I mean, uh, your elbows together, I'm sorry. Great job. 
just walking closer and back just in case if I get out of focus. That's what I'm doing so you guys know. Another 10 seconds. Slowly bring your arms back down to shake that out. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some head circles, but they um they don't go all the way around. So what we do is you bring your chin to your chest and you slowly rotate your head until you're looking straight up at the ceiling. Once you're looking straight up at the ceiling, you come back that same direction and then you do the other side. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We'll do a couple of those, about 30 seconds worth. So everybody, let's bring our chin to our chest. And slowly on your own pace, should be at least five seconds till you get to the back, nice and slow. And when you're looking at the ceiling, you're gonna slowly bring yourself back. Should be about, I usually say five to eight seconds per side, per direction. Nice and slow, really slowing it down. Really stretching out that muscle. Focus on your breathing. Try not to shrug your shoulders up. I just actually caught myself doing that. You want to make sure that you're relaxing the shoulders. Another 10 seconds. And we'll slowly move to the chest and the shoulders. I apologize for my dog. She is a Chihuahua Terrier and she has more Terrier in her than anything else. So, any leaf, squirrel, rabbit person. That walks by, she barks at. So I apologize. You may hear her a couple more times. So let's bring it back to center. What we're going to do is we're going to bring our arms up and over. I want you to place your right hand in the back first. So you're going to put your right hand down. And then I want you to push back. So you're standing like, see how I'm, I have a tall back, but I'm, I'm arched. Almost like we would do with the cat and cow. You really want to arch that back, really pushing those shoulder blades together. You should feel this in your traps, your lats, which is, is from here to here. Just trying to stretch out the entire body. Really pushing those shoulder blades together. Another five seconds. You can slowly bring your arms back down. Now what I want you to do is I want you to take your left hand and put it on top, grab your elbow, back up and over. And you should feel this on the left side now. Arch your back, just like if we were doing the cat and cow. Another 10 seconds. And slowly bring your arms back down. 
Shake it out. And next one, we're going to kind of work on the obliques, kind of this whole area here. So what I want you to do is keep your keep your hips, spread your feet um, a little wider than shoulder width is fine. I want you to keep your hips straight. And what I want you to do is I want you to turn and push, but I want you to keep your hips straight. I don't want you to turn with it because that's stretching the lower back. I'm trying to really focus on the obliques. So again, keeping your hips straight, nice, nice and tight. If you need to squeeze your glutes, you can. That will help you. Keep yourself, if you find yourself turning and you can't stop, you squeeze those glutes, you can hold it. And we're really working the obliques, the upper, this area here is what we're trying to, to stretch out. Your rib cage, your upper obliques. And it should be, you know, a couple seconds, and then come back. A couple seconds, come back. Another 15 seconds of this. Everybody, good job keeping those hips forward. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, bring yourself back to center. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to turn sideways for this one so you can see. What I want you to do is I want you to take your hands, clasp your fingertips together, almost make like a little teepee like we did when we were kids, like teepee. So what you're gonna do is then take your hands, flip them inside out and push. But one thing I want you to notice, I'm not hunched over like this. I want you, we're really stretching the shoulders in the back, the upper back. So I want you to really push and stretch those shoulder blades out, bringing the chest in. Keep holding it, push it out. And slowly bring it back down. That's a good one, I like that one. Another one, um, we're gonna flip it, so we're gonna stretch the chest this time. Same thing, put your hands together behind your back. Gonna crisscross your fingers, or you can even cup them, or you can hold whatever your comfort level is. I like to really clasp my hands like this and really hold them. And I want you to really try to bring your elbows together. Really try to open up that chest. You should feel it across, you should feel this from shoulder to shoulder. The more you push your elbows together, the deeper the stretch. I wouldn't apply as much pressure to this one because the more pressure you apply is going to go to your rotator cuff. If you'd like to deepen the stretch, if you feel like you're not feeling a stretch, you can slowly bend over, bringing your hands to the sky if you want, or you can just stand like this. I'm feeling this all the way across my chest, so I'm okay like this. Great job. I see some of you extending, that's perfect. Great job. Really stretching out those muscles. Another 10 seconds. And slowly release back down. Okay, and shake it out. Okay, the next one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch the hamstring. Um, before we do, we're going to do a couple leg ones, standing leg stretches. 
before we go to the ground and do some more leg stretches and we'll stretch the glutes and things like that. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna have you do, I'll turn sideways. You can have your legs shoulder width apart. You can have a slight bend in the knee. I don't have much. But then what you wanna do is you wanna hinge your hips, almost like you were doing the deadlift. Really push those hips back. And then I want you to allow yourself to hang. And as long as your hips are pushed back, almost like I said, like if you were doing a deadlift, you'll feel this right in your hamstring. You'll feel it right around your glute, down your hamstring. So getting yourself, letting yourself hang. Keeping a nice flat back. You don't want to go too far over because then you'll, you may feel some pain in your spine and your back. So we're just going to keep your head, your shoulders, and your hips in line. Again, slight bend in the knee, hinging at the hips and pushing those glutes back. And really feel that stretch in the hamstrings. Great job, everybody. Another 10 seconds. Okay, now what I want you to do is to let yourself hang down. And then I want you to slowly bring yourself back up, vertebrae by, by vertebrae. Nice and slow. Really feeling this in the spine, stretching it out, bringing the hips back in. I want your head to be the last thing up. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay. Great job, everybody. Now what I want you to do is I want you to take a nice wide stance. Then I want you to do is take your, your palms so they're flat. And I want you to bend over and reach the floor. You should feel this in your hamstrings, in your glutes. We're kind of stretching out that area. We're just holding it. Another 10 seconds. And slowly bring yourself back up. We're gonna reset. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the right. Try to bring both your hands and hold on to your foot. Trying to keep your legs straight without bending them. You should feel this in the right. If you're going to the right side, you should feel this in the right hamstring. If you're going to the left, you should feel it in the left. We're going to do both sides. It doesn't matter what side you're going to. Another 10 seconds and we're gonna bring ourselves back up. Okay, slowly bring yourself back up, come back to center. And now what I want you to do is get ready. We're gonna to go to the opposite side. Slowly bring yourself back down, try to touch your foot, keeping your legs straight, do not bend. If you have to, a slight bend is okay but you will get a deeper stretch if your legs are not bent. Great job, everybody.
Another 10 seconds. Slowly bring yourselves back up, back to center. Walk yourself back in. We're gonna stretch our quads. So if you have um, like a wall or a couch, feel free to use it. Or if you have great balance, um, you can do it without it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, it doesn't matter what leg, we're gonna do both quads and bring your leg up and back. And once you're there, I want you to bring your knee to your other knee. So I want you to close it. If your legs are closed, you'll really feel that stretch in your quad. Focus on your breathing. Holding onto a wall or a table, that's completely fine. Another 10 seconds. Slowly let the leg back down, nice and controlled. Now we're gonna do the other side. Once you get your, your leg up, then I want you to bring your knees together. Put your arm out to help with balance on the side, whatever's easier for you. Balance is off this morning, I apologize. knees together, try to close your knees, really feeling that stretch. Another 10 seconds, and I'm going to take it to the ground. And slowly let your leg back down, nice and controlled. Now let's take it to the ground. We're going to get on all fours. We're going to do the cat and cow to start. So what you want to do is you want to keep your your knee is about shoulder width apart. You want your hands the same way, shoulder width apart. So first I want you to go up. I want you to push your back all the way up like the cat, this is called the cat. Almost like you have a piece of string in the middle of your back pulling you up, keeping your head down. Really stretching out the back. Now I want you to slowly come back in, push your belly to the ground and look up to the ceiling if you can. Now slowly bring yourself back up. Slowly bring your belly back down, arching your back, looking to the ceiling if you can. And slowly bring yourself back up to center. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a seat on the ground. What I want you to do first is I want you to extend your legs straight out. I want you to point your toes. I'm going to stretch this as a full leg stretch. Um, even lower back is incorporated into this stretch. So I want you to bring your arms up and over. I want you to take a nice deep breath. And on the exhale, I want you to try to touch your toes. Ready? Want deep breath in. Exhale down. Keeping the toes pointed. Try not to bend the knees. You want to make sure that you're trying to bring your, your nose to your knees. You don't want your head arched because you'll get a pain, you'll get a prick. You don't want to do that. And 
What I want you to do is take a nice deep breath and on the exhale, I want you to try to bring yourself a little further down. Deep, heel, deep inhale in. Exhale down, try to get yourself a little bit lower to deepen that stretch. About five seconds. Slowly bring yourself back up, arms down. Now what I want you to do is take your right leg and I want you to bend it and bring that heel as close to the groin as you can. Once you have a nice tall back, almost like again, have that piece of string that's really pulling you up nice and tight. I want your arms up and over. Take a nice deep breath. And on the exhale down. So ready, inhale in. Exhale down. Another 10 seconds. Really focusing on your deep breaths. And slowly bring yourself back up and arms down. Now we're going to switch sides. Again, nice tall back, pointing your toe, arms up. I want you to take a nice deep breath and on the exhale down. So inhale in, exhale down. Try to touch your toes. Another 15 seconds. Take some nice deep breaths. Okay, you can slowly bring yourselves back up. Arms down. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the downward dog. We're gonna stretch our calves. So what I want you to do is to get on all fours. I want your arms shoulder width apart. Then I want you to push yourself up. Bring your feet closer together. And what I want you to do first, if you can see my feet, I want you to bend your left knee, but I want you to push your right heel to the ground. So you should feel this stretch in your right calf. I'm gonna hold that for about 10 seconds and then we're gonna switch sides. Now switch, bending the right knee and pushing the left heel down, keeping that left leg straight. You should feel it in the calf. Holding it for about 10 seconds. And switch. Do one more side. And switch. So from this position, I want you to bring your knees back down to the ground. I want you to walk your hands in front of you, putting your quads on the ground all the way down to your hips. And I want you to stretch your abs, looking up to the ceiling. 
feet on the ground. We're gonna hold this for about 20 seconds. And then we're gonna push into our final pose, which is the child's pose. Really stretch those abs, looking up to the ceiling. Focusing on that breathing. Another 10 seconds and we're gonna push right into the child's pose. Okay, slowly bring the quads and the hips up and slowly pushing the hips back, the glutes all the way down and getting into our final pose of the day. Focus on your breathing. Take some nice deep breaths. Another 10 seconds. All right, everybody, great job. I just unmuted you. I hope you feel fabulous. Great job, great job. A couple announcements while you guys are getting up slowly from the child's pose, because that's such a good pose. Um, Tuesdays at 11.30, we have our nutrition, it's called the Nutrition Zoom, but it's, it's all basically um, like, how we're getting through this, working together. Um, Nina does a great job. Um, I know a couple of us here have taken it, um, kind of balancing like stress eating. Um, I fell prey to that. Um, I had some cookies and actually not cookies, brownies. I haven't had brownies in probably like a year or two years. And I did, my stress got the better of me. So um, I took a couple of her classes or Zoom calls and they really help. It really helps you put things back into perspective and really helps you you focus. So that's Tuesdays at 1130. And, uh, excuse me, you're correct. 430 and Friday at 11. Thank you, Diane. Um, also, we have, don't forget, we're doing the challenge. I know yesterday Hervé posted a plank. Crazy amount of time. Um, I don't think I could hold it that long. Um, but don't forget to do that. And also this week is water. So make sure that we're drinking half our weight in water um, in ounces a day. That's huge. Keeping everything hydrated. Um, also, we have stretch Tuesday at 630. That is the next stretch class. So you guys have a wonderful day. I love you all. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Love you, Jen. I love you too. And I will see you guys soon. Have a great day. You too. Yeah. Thank you. Bye guys. Thank you.